Hi everybody, Jackie here, and welcome back to my channel. I'd like to welcome all my returning friends, and also welcome any new friends, and ask you to please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I upload future videos. So today is kind of a mishmash haul. I have a few things from just a couple stores, nothing major, but I thought I'd go ahead and show everybody what I got. I'm going to start with... Hobby Lobby. What I got at Hobby Lobby, it wasn't on sale or anything else like that. It's just something that I wanted to get to work with. It's the Winter Wonder Page Kit, and it's to make uh, Christmas cards. It contains 10 of the 12 by 12 uh, scrapbook papers, a cardstock sticker sheet, a chipboard sticker sheet, a cardstock alphabet sticker sheet and one pearl sticker sheet so that right there shows you everything that's in it right no right here excuse me right there that shows you everything that's in it and I just thought that that would be such a it's Christmassy but it's wintry too without being overly Christmassy so I got that one and then I got this one that is definitely Christmassy. It's Christmas Basics. And these were $8.99. So I got one of them for 40% off. And this contains the 10 of the 12 by 12 sheets, a cardstock sticker sheet, a cardstock alphabet sticker sheet, one 3D embellishment sticker sheet, and one gemstone sticker sheet. So this right here across the top is everything that's included in it and I definitely love these little pop-up stickers here Let's see if you can see those. okay that's what I got from Hobby Lobby okay from Walmart I got well I can't show it to you because it's on the other side here it's a six foot tall it's three feet wide and 18 inches deep it's a silver metal shelf and all the storage containers and everything that I've been hauling from the Dollar Tree, I've been organizing all my craft stuff on it because my desk was absolutely covered and you couldn't do anything here. But now I have it all over there and it's all organized. So I got that and I think it was like $47. And I've talked before about I drink cold brew and I've always done it the um, old-fashioned way. You know, you grind your beans up and then you soak them you know, in cold water for like 12 to 24 hours. And then what you do is you use a strainer and a cheesecloth to pour it into another container. Well, I decided to just finally break down and get a French press. It takes care of, I still have to grind the beans and put them in the bottom. And I add my water and then after it sits, you just depress the top and that pushes all the beans to the bottom and they're trapped so that all you're pouring out is just in your cold coffee brew and I think this was 17 something I'm not sure but that was the two things I purchased at Walmart this and the new shelf and then finally I have just a very few things from five below first off it says let the sea set you free it's a little you know hand sanitizer and that's where it says let the sea set you free and it's a little kitty and she's got her little uh hula skirt and her flower leia on and uh this is for my sister wanted this for her purse so i thought it was cute and i think it was like four dollars not that much so absolutely then i spent one dollar and i got nine of these binder clips and they have the marble texture to them like that so I thought those were really sharp then I spent five dollars on this and uh, those of you that know the channel shoot the shit uh, oh god I hope I haven't screwed up 
Oh, no, I haven't. Okay, anybody that knows Shoot the Shit knows that Pam got a new, uh, the iPhone X, and she had bought herself one of the little charging plates, and I think she paid, like, right at $50 for it. I got this one. It's no wires, no fuss. All you have to do is just set your phone on there, and it charges, okay? And I thought on the front I was reading, and it says it works with iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and iPhone X. But I remember here on the back, it says that it works with Samsung Galaxy Note 8, which is what I have. So I want to try that and see how that's going to work. I'm interested in that. And on my crafting table, I always have uh, things like a laminator, a printer, my laptop. I have uh, like my uh, Cricut and things like that all plugged up and a light and everything. So I never have enough places to plug everything. So I got one of these. And again, this was inspired by Pam, again, from Shoot to Shit. And it's the, let me turn it around. It's the uh, desktop surge protector, and that's what it looks like. And we're going to open it up and see. Okay, got to open it. You know me. I, I always think I'm prepared, and then I'm not. Okay, so let's pull this out. Oh, this is, this is awesome. See, I can plug it in. Then that allowed me two plugins on my desk plus two USB ports. So whether I'm charging a tablet, phone, anything, you know, um, there you go. And I thought that was that was nice. So I can't wait to hook that up and try it, create a little more room and uh, more plug-in places. So that was it, and that was also five dollars from five below and now I know it's not going to be as good as the Verizon brands but then they didn't cost near as much as the Verizon brands did and you know if they work well enough and I like them I'd be happy to invest in the uh, name brand items so I want to try it out to see how they work that's it everybody that's all I have I had a big dollar tree that I uploaded a day or two ago and I haven't been anywhere else yet, but, you know, the week is young. It's only Tuesday, so there's no telling where I go or what I'm going to come up with. And remember, everybody, what I always say, the world's going to hell in the handbasket, and you can't control everybody else, what they're doing, all the drama, especially on YouTube, Lord, all the drama. You can't control everybody else. You just have to control yourself. Take care of you your tight-knit family, community, your friends. Because when it's all said and done, it's not my circus. And they're not my monkeys. Y'all have a good day now. Bye.